Welcome to my channel, I'm Scott, and if you want to catch my newest video, I post one every day. In this video, I am going to walk you through the process of valuing naked brand stock by analyzing their financial statements and dissecting their financial ratios, so we can determine if it's a buy or a sell. Naked Brand Group is an intimate apparel and swimwear company. It owns Fredericks of Hollywood online business. The company is currently in the process of getting rid of its Benden brand of lingerie retail outlets. It's not going to receive anything for the sale of Benden. The company that's acquiring the business will assume $11 million of debt. So that's why they're not paying anything for the brand because they have to pay off all the debt. The company's stock price has suffered for many years. There's been many times it was at risk of getting delisted but it got a boost recently due to the Reddit short squeeze. Let's get started with the model. This is a small cap company, 460 million market cap. They're trading at $1.08 a share and they have 427 million shares outstanding. Let's look at the financials. The way you value a company is you estimate the free cash flows into the future and then you discount those numbers back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. So you can see the company has negative free cash flow every year. Net income is the profit and loss on the income statement. It's revenue minus expenses. They also have negative net income every year. Revenue is the sales for the company and that goes down each year from 131 million to 90 million. This is the company's income statement. The top line is the revenue, the sales. Below that is the cost of revenue. Example is cost of labor. The difference between those two numbers is their gross profit. That's been going down each year from 44 million to 34 million. Below that is operating expenses. Examples are marketing, insurance, and depreciation. Then below that is operating income. And the company has negative operating income every year. Then below that is the interest they pay in their debt. Then there's other income and expenses. This is usually impairments or other non-operational gains and losses. And the bottom line of the income statement is their net income. And the company has negative net income every year. This is the company's statement of cash flows. The top line is operating cash flow. That's how much cash the company loses from its operational business. Then you have capital expenditures, which are investments in property, plant, and equipment. Operating cash flow minus capex gives you your free cash flow and you can see the company has negative free cash flow every year and it seems to be getting worse. Since the company has negative free cash flow, it needs money from somewhere to run its business. They issued 23 million of capital stock in 2018, another 23 million in 2019 and 13 million in 2020. When a company issues capital stock, that increases the shares outstanding, making your shares less valuable. They paid off more debt than they issued, so they're decreasing the amount of debt they have. The most important part of any business is their operating cash flow. If you cannot generate positive operating cash flow, you don't have much of a business because you cannot rely on debt and equity financing to run your business in the long term. You could think of operating cash flow as net income converted to cash because net income is your accounting profit and loss. It's not actual cash. And to calculate operating cash flow, you start with net income, then you have to add or subtract the non-cash items on the income statement. They pass through a $10.6 million depreciation expense. That brings down their net income, but it doesn't affect cash flow. They also had a $9 million asset impairment. An asset impairment is when you decrease the value of an asset on your balance sheet and pass through the loss onto your income statement. They also had 9.2 million in other non-cash items and 6.6 .6 million in changes in working capital. So even though the company reported a $54 million loss, they actually lost $20 million of cash flow. Let's look at the capital structure. Negative $2 million of equity. That means their liabilities on their balance sheet are $2 million more than their assets and $64 million of debt. They have 45 million of net debt. Net debt is debt minus cash. And their WAC is 9.5%. And that's a discount rate we're going to apply to the future cash flows. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. 
We also estimated a terminal value, which is all cash flows past year four. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. We get a value of the company of negative $102 million. We divide that by 427 million shares. And we get a calculated stock price of zero because you cannot have a negative stock price. They're trading at 108, so it's a sell according to the model. I looked at the company's financials and I looked at analyst estimates and there's no scenario where the company will be profitable in the future. This is the stock price the last five years and it appears that the stock price was over $600, but it was never this high. They did a one for 100 reverse stock split. So you have to divide these numbers by 100 to get the actual stock price on those days. A reverse stock split is a sign of a company in distress. Generally, companies do reverse stock splits so they don't get delisted. When a company's stock price is below $1, they're at risk of getting delisted. That means they have to trade over the counter and not on a major exchange where there's a lot more liquidity. This is one of the stocks that benefited from the Reddit short squeeze. The way a short squeeze happens, if there are a lot of shares shorted and then investors drive the price higher, and then the people who shorted the stock are forced to buy the stock at the higher price to cover their shorts. These were the prices of several stocks on January 22nd. Naked was 44 cents and it peaked at $3.40. That's almost a 700% return. You should remember that the stock price is not based off of how well a company is doing financially. It's based off of what people are willing to pay for the stock. It's based off the of supply and demand of the market. If people are willing to pay $100 for this stock, then they'll drive the price up to $100. But in the long run, the financials will indicate the stock price. In the short run, nobody knows what can happen. They have a beta of 0.96, so the stock moves with the market. The stock has gone up 111% in the past 52 weeks, while the S&P 500 went up 17%. The 52 week low was 7 cents, the high was 340. The stock is trading above its 50 day and 200 day moving average. And this is a really liquid stock. 217 million shares were traded on average the past three months. And of the 427 million shares outstanding, only 42 million are on float. 10.5% of the shares on float are shorted. If you invested $10,000 into this company when it IPO'd in 2012, it would have peaked at $50,000 at one point, but if you're still holding on, you'd be at $82 today. The biggest shareholders are Apex, Virtue, Armistice, Geode, and UBS. Let's look at their financial ratios. The average PE is nine, the median is 14. PE is stock price over earnings per share. To calculate earnings per share, that's net income over shares outstanding. They have negative net income, so they have negative PE. When a company has negative PE, we look to the price to sales ratio. Price to sales is stock price over sales per share. There are 5.1, which is between the median and average. Price to book is stock price over book value per share. They have negative book value, so they have negative price to book. Interest coverage ratio is EBIT over interest expense. Negative EBIT, negative interest coverage ratio. ROE is net income over equity. They have negative net income and negative equity, so we can't look at the ROE. Current ratios, current assets over current liabilities. They can cover 80% of their current liabilities with their current assets. Their current assets as of their last published balance sheet are 18 million of cash, 5 million of receivables, and 17 million of inventory. The company is taking advantage of the inflated stock price by doing a stock issuance. They plan to sell 29 million shares and generate $50 million in cash. That should give the company enough cash to get through their business for the next year or two without taking on more debt or diluting more shareholders. The best way to look at ratios to compare them to similar companies, I've done videos on Capri Holdings, Canada Goose, Haynes, Levi, all in the same industry as Naked. And Naked is worse than average in every single category. So they have really weak ratios. So to summarize, I value the company at nothing so I think the only way you can make money on this stock is if you buy and sell pretty quickly. The longer you hold it, the more chance you have at losing all your money. And I rank their free cash flows, revenue, and ratios 1 out of 10. So let me know what you think. Give this video a like, subscribe, or comment below. 
Also, if you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.